Today we are going to look at using calculators to evaluate compound interest. Suppose you were given a principal of 1000, a rate of 8% and the time being 12 years. Now we can use the compound interest formula. This is the compound interest formula and when we substitute these values, the values of P, R and T respectively, we have this. But today we are going to be looking at how we can input these values in the calculator to determine our answers. First, there is an easy trick. We convert the 8 over 100 to decimals. Then we add the 1 to it. So this would be equal to 100 times 1.08 to the power of 12. So let us evaluate it first using the Casio calculator. We input 1000 multiplied by 1.08 to the power of 12 and this will give me 2518.17 let's use the other calculator using the sharp calculator it's pretty much the same 1000 multiplied by 1.08 to the power of 12 equals 2518.17 This is your answer rounded to two decimal places.